Good evening. Hey. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Luna Park. Please give a warm, warm welcome for Alamo recording artists Gillian Welch and David Rawlings. Hi there. There's a bunch of very pretty lights out there. Great dinner. Yeah. <laughs> a long time ago, a 
This next tune is a Towns Van Zandt song. We played it a couple times. Let's call Snowing on her tone. It's 
Exactly, dance music, aren't we? <laughs> we'll try to play one so you can move around a little. Those what are standing up. You know, speaking of towns, as we were, uh, Dave and I were lucky enough to do a show with towns uh, a couple weeks back, and. Uh, we were hanging out after the show, and Towns was sitting there. He hadn't said anything in about two hours. He'd just been sitting there. And uh, so, much to my surprise, at one point, he turned to me and he said, you know, there are two kinds of music in the world. And I said, oh, yes? <laughs> he said, there's the blues, and there's zippity-doo-dah. And 
then he shut up again. <laughs> so happily, this is a, there are no bluebirds in this one. This is a, a blues. This next tune is a waltz, so if you can find any room out there to dance, feel free. Mm. Our guitars aren't uh, are upset at us for leaving them in the trunk for several hours the other day. We took too long a pause in Salinas and they didn't like it. It's 
called Barroom Girls. Goodness. Next uh, tune. It's kind of a kind of a little honky tonk number. This is a this is the tune that Dave and I played when we made our debut on the on the Grand Old Opry hmm. a couple of weeks ago. A couple 
months ago. The opera is kind of weird because uh, most of the singers are kind of getting on and they're a little bit past their prime. But all the players, you know, the guy back there on drums and the steel player and and uh, all those guys, they still have it. And uh, so you can go out there every weekend to just sit there and watch the same guys that played with Lefty and Patsy and Hank. They're still out there playing. And it's kind of cool. So uh, this, is, this is a tune I, I, I wrote uh, the week I bought the Willie Nelson box set. <laughs> it's called Paper Wings. Mm -hmm. try to just keep playing the songs and not chat too much. We, uh, we kind of have a curfew. 
So we're just gonna... I'm not gonna tell any jokes or anything. This is a... Here's a snappy little number. <laughs> this one's really lighthearted. I like Dave said the other day, we were playing, and he said, as an introduction to one of the tunes, he said, now don't get too attached to any of the characters. Because <laughs> you never know what's going to happen to them. Here's one called Annabelle. That's minor. <laughs> It'll just be more lonesome the further out of tune.
Well, this next number, uh, Gil likes to say she was sitting around the house trying to decide if she should write a uh, gospel song or a murder ballad. <laughs> Position I'm sure you found yourself in quite a lot. It's a tough decision, really. And uh, she opted for the gospel tune because she said it would probably be bloodier. So, <laughs> so here it is. told the story for this song, so I really... <laughs> the only other thing I can say about it is the other reason to write the gospel tune is, of course, you always know how it's going to end. That's right. You know. You're either going up or down. It's kind of... <laughs> cheerier. Pushed around like a 
to my foes, a hero to my friends. I've been down before, but I won't be down again. number that made it onto the record. Uh, T-Bone heard us fooling around with this and he liked it so we finished it. And uh, this is called Only One and Only. Nothing 
gonna sing one. Oh, you're excited now. Just wait. Don't worry, it's quick. This is a song I have no introduction for. There's a man you hear about most anywhere you go. Homes are in Texas, and his name is Diamond Joe. He carries all his money in his diamond studded jaw, and he never took much trouble with due process of the law. Well, I went to Diamond Joe Bowles and did offer him my hand. He gave me a string of horses, were so old they could not stand. And I nearly starved to death, boys. He did mistreat me so. And I never saved a dollar in the pay of Diamond Joe. Bread. It was corn dodger And his meat he could not show He nearly drove me crazy With the wagging of his jaw And the telling of his story 
is I aim to let you know that there never was a rounder who could lie like Diamond Joe. To my buddy And give the fleas to Diamond Joe Give my blankets to my buddy Give the fleas to Diamond Joe My blankets to my buddies Give the fleas to Diamond Joe He'll lay fairly new as well. This is a song called Caleb Meyer. Then it pinned my hands above my head And I commenced to 
Well, Gil uh, rarely takes songwriting suggestions. Or really suggestions of any kind, I guess. <laughs> uh, but um, we were up in the Appalachian uh, Mountains with a friend of ours years ago, and she pulled out a book of wildflowers and pointed out a little flower and said, this is the first flower that blooms up here every year. And I think it's a pretty name, and you might want to write a song about it. And a few years later, lo and behold, she did. So this is called the Oconee Bell. like this. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. We're going to play the big hit, I guess. <laughs> um, thanks, everybody, for coming down. Saturday too, but that's sold out. So I 
can't tease people. <laughs> and uh, I'm playing tomorrow on KCRW if you want to. All right. <laughs> want to hear us try and explain ourselves. This is a tune we were very fortunate to have recorded by Emmylou Harris. Oh yeah, and we'll be hawking our wares uh, over here somewhere after the show. Thank There's our again. big pitch. <laughs> it on time. We'll, we'll do one more short one. And uh, thanks again. We would have waited longer and come back out here, but you know, we...